So I was pretty hopeful for the Ace of Spin 513 Chromebook, but let me explain to you why I ended up sending this one back. So I've got to say the packaging is really nice. Maybe I've just been opening too many refurbs in plain brown boxes lately, but it was refreshing to have the brightly colored Chrome OS branded Acer box and there's more inside. I'll show you more of that in just a minute. So yes, I purchased this brand new. Uh, I got it from AO.com on their eBay store in the UK. So if you're following me on Twitter, you may have seen I posted a tweet to this deal. Uh, I used an eBay discount code and I paid just £279.20 and 20 pence for it, so that's about 382 US dollars or about 329 euros. So getting through the packaging now, about to open up a little bit of Chromebook history here. This Acer Spin 513 is the first Chromebook to feature a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. So inside this particular model is the Cryo 468 chip. It's got 4 gig of RAM and 64 gig of onboard storage to go along with that. It's got an aluminum or aluminium top to it here, nice uh, silver. That's just a bit of tape covering the Acer logo. On the bottom, you've got the speakers here. They're not uh, grills for the processor or anything. Thing. there's none of that it is fanless and on the left hand side you've got USB-C USB-A and a headphone port and then on the right hand side you've got another USB-C port you've got power and you've got a volume rocker so a decent setup there's no card reader or anything on this but then it's pretty thin there um, and then let's get this open and show you the keyboard and screen so there we go decent sized keyboard um, it's got a gorilla glass coated trackpad on there it's got a full 1080p um, screen so really crisp and clear i'll show you more of that in just a bit so let's finish the unboxing let's get rid of these bits we're not going to need here's a bit more of that nice branding there's some tips and tricks you can go along and check out if you're not familiar with chrome os and your chromebook and then there's some paperwork that you're probably not going to uh, bother reading, but you're going to want to keep hold of. So just put that to one side. I never did check what's in that brown envelope. I'm not sure. Comment down below. And um, then on the right hand side, you've got the power brick, of course, USB-C connection on that. And as you saw on the Chromebook itself, it's got dual USB-C. So depending on how your desk is set up, don't worry, you'll be able to charge it on either side. So another positive, it is nice and lightweight. It's about 1,200 grams. That's about 2.65 pounds. The claim to a long battery life as well, I think are very fair, so just using it with, I'd say, average to light usage, I'd easily get through a day. Um, and here it is up against the Asus Spin 311, so it's younger sibling, um, I guess, so it's 11.6 inch Chromebook, you may have seen it in my last video, do check that out if you haven't already. Um, and here it is just to give you a size comparison. Obviously because of the thinner bezels on this one, the actual footprint isn't too different as you can see. Let's get it started up, just resuming it, lifting the screen. Straight away you can see that bright, crisp, full HD screen. It is really nice. Um, and I'll show you the touch responsiveness of it in just a minute. Generally, really decent. Add the odd, um, strange behavior with the bottom of the screen that you might see in a minute. Capturing just how bright and clear it is is pretty difficult on the camera here, so um, it's going to look far better in actual life than it is there. And you can see that it can move into the tent mode and into the various other convertible modes as well. It is fully convertible, so there we go, there's tent mode. And then if you carry on around, you can put it into tablet mode and Chrome OS will snap into tablet mode as well. Um, again, as I always say, this isn't going to rival Android, but you know, it's decent enough to use. Um, and here I am just scrolling through the Play Store just to give you a bit of an idea. So not a bad machine for gaming as well. Uh, and then you've got this kind of halfway house mode where if you did want those speakers firing up to watch a movie, perhaps this is how you're going to do it with the screen back like this. Um, so yeah, really nice. Um, three options there really for you to use it in the regular laptop mode, temp mode, and then whatever you want to call this mode. Comment down below if it's got a name. So the Acer Spin 513 also has a really nice keyboard, similar to on the Spin 311, so a fair travel to the keys. Here's a bit of audio and video of me typing so you can get an idea of what it's like. So what I really was less keen on was this trackpad. So it is coated in Gorilla Glass, which is nice. It makes it um, quite smooth to use. But I just felt like the edge of it closest to you just felt too loose for me, especially if you ever used it at an angle. So you've got it on your lap or you're on the sofa. Um, it really just felt like it was loose. And I don't know if that's in the one that I received or if that's how they all are, but do check that out. Perhaps have a look in store if you're thinking about buying this. Let me play you a bit of video and audio together so you can just hear and see what it's like.
There was one other main area of build quality that I just wasn't 100% convinced about. So look how this screen sits on top of the machine when it's flat. I'm just pushing very gently there and there's a fair amount of flex in it. Now that might not be an issue at all. It might not be an issue for you. It might never be an issue for the machine. Um, but I was just a bit surprised that that's how it was by design. Um, you can see it exists on all sides. Um, so around here on the left as well. Again, just pushing very gently and also all the way around on the, uh, the back of the machine. That I'll show you in just a minute before I open it up. Um, and the other thing that was just a bit different on this machine, I'll show you just so you're aware, is when you open the screen 180 degrees, um, unlike some other convertibles I've used that'll be kind of flat with the base at that point, you can see here the screen is actually lower. Um, again, probably completely fine. And if you take the trade off of how thin and light it is, maybe not an issue, but I just wasn't convinced about this for the price that I paid. Now, I did notice the odd stutter in performance as well. I've seen others mentioning this, um, probably due to the Snapdragon chip. You'd hope that they can resolve those with software updates. Uh, for me, it was, for example, loading up, say, 13 tabs at once when I start my Chromebook up. Just the odd stutter in performance, not every time. But do read up on that, see what other users and owners are also saying about that. Do let me know in the comments down below as well if I've just been too harsh on the Asus Spin 513. Let me know what your thoughts are on it. And if you're looking for another the Chromebook to compare this against, I do recommend you check out this next video on the Lenovo Flex 5. Cheers.